homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, it's time to plant basil. Now, last year, I was unable to save basil seed. If you follow the channel, you know why. We're not going to go into that. But this year, I've had such success with another method of planting things that I want to try it with basil. But I don't want to abandon the method that works for us so well, too. So I want to plant my basil. Now, the big thing about basil is weeding. Uh, we planted in a bed. I'm getting ready to do that, and I'll show you how. This is method number one. In the next video, I'll show you method number two. But I'm going to plant in this bed, and uh, I'll let you see how it's done. I, I came by yesterday and plowed real good. So this is just pretty as a lettuce bed. Now I'm going to use, I've got uh, Barry Morris basil seed and Livingston Seed Company basil seed. Uh, these two, I'm going to use one of each in each bed so that I'm using the same type of seed so that I know that there's kind of a control going on. I know, I can't help it, I'm a scientist. So, I'm going to plant these and then we'll uh, look at how the second method is in the next video. I've got my bed here spread out in front of me. It's about three and a half feet wide. Now, you know that I have problems with my back and with my legs and because I have multiple sclerosis, weeding this thing has become a terror. Uh, I have to pull my tractor over here so that I can help me get up. Uh, I can't bend over and weed, so I have to get all the way down on the ground and weed. And then I have to get up. Uh, I don't want to have to call Crystal to come get me out of the garden. But uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and sow these and all you have to do is you just take your seed again I'm going to do one of this type and then one of the other type I'm doing a Ferry Morris and a Livingston in each bed one of each and basil seed is really small let me show you if I poured it out here know how well you can see that but that's basil seed it's really 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 tiny uh, so a little package goes a long way so now I'm going to start off by just defining where I want to put it because I don't want to screw up later and not know where I planted it so I'm going to plant it from here Make me a little furrow to there. I'm not going to go outside of that. Okay? That's about a three foot by three foot square. So I'm going to plant both of these packets of seeds right in that. So we'll start off here with this one. I can see them hitting the ground. I can't see the individual seeds hitting the ground. My bifocals ain't that good. Come out of there. Okay, the first seed packet's in. Now let's do the next one. You want to make sure you spread these out pretty good. Now, once they're that way, you really don't have to cover them, cover them. But I just take my hoe. And do the dirt like this. And 
those little tiny seeds are pushed down in the dirt enough that they'll get going. Now, it may be a couple days before we get rain, but after the first rain, it won't be two or three days. These will be up. Okay, that's our traditional uh, basil planting method. Uh, this bed will give us all kinds of basil. But I want to test another, another method, and we'll see that in the next video. And then at the end of the year, we'll harvest both beds and see how it went. Uh, the object is to cut down on weeding. This bed will grow weeds as fast as anywhere in the garden. And that means that I will have to weed this bed four or five times as the year goes on. So that means I've got to get down on my hands and knees and weed. I hate that. My back hates it. My legs hate it. All right? But I would do it every time for basil. Because Crystal makes a salad dressing out of basil that's just, oh, it's awesome. But anyway, if you like this kind of stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself, prepping, uh, self-sustainability kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. If you hit the little bell, when you get to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video, and we upload every Sunday. And now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.